Hi folks, I'm glad y'all could stop by. I'm Crazy Hillbilly. I'm Uncle Bill. And you're watching Crazy Hillbilly Cooking and Adventures. Today, we have a couple of announcements that we're gonna make. Some of it has to deal with our Facebook page and uh, some of it has to deal with what we're doing next. Uh, as far as the Facebook page goes, Crazy Hillbilly posted a picture of these ingredients and had y'all guess what we were making. So we have an honorable mention, Christy Lowe. It is going to be stuffed peppers, but that's a little too vague. But, and surprise, surprise, Brianna Sanders, you guessed it correctly right on the nose. We are doing omelet stuffed peppers. And for guessing right, we're sending you a $25 gift card. We were supposed to do a giveaway at 150 and we have now hit 300 subscribers. So. We're also going to do a second giveaway. Just go to Crazy Hillbilly Cooking Adventures group on Facebook. If you haven't already joined, join the group and then invite all your friends. Whoever invites the most wins the $25 gift card. We want to make us a nice bed of coals on the bottom to set our uh, Dutch oven on. We get it pretty hot this first go around because we're going to be browning off our sausage. So we have moved the uh, sausage over directly over the fire so we can go ahead and get it uh, browned off pretty quickly. Now that our sausage is browned off, we're going to go in with our onions. Then we're going in with our mushrooms. We're going to let the onions, mushrooms, and all this cook down a little bit. And then we'll be removing it from the Dutch oven, letting it cool down as we prep the rest of the omelet mix. As you can see, we only removed the top of the bell pepper and then cut out and removed the membrane and seeds from the inside, leaving the pepper intact so we can fill it full of the ingredients. And then we'll stick it in the Dutch oven and let her bake. These are serrano peppers. You can use jalapenos. Or you can not use any pepper, hot pepper at all. But we will be removing the seed and doing a fine dice. You want to get these super fine so you don't get somebody a big chunk. Might, might be a little hot in the morning if you get too big of a piece. And then we will dice up the tomato. Now we're going to go in with our eggs. We're not sure how many we're going to need to make this come together. We're doing eight stuffed peppers. It looks like we may have more filler than peppers, so we may be running to the store, getting some more peppers, and sharing with the neighbors. So in order to keep uh, eggshells out when you're cracking your eggs, crack your eggs on a flat surface, not the edge of your bowl. So we got 18 eggs in the bowl with our sausage, onions, and mushrooms. Now we're going to add our uh, serrano peppers, our tomato, and spinach. Now 
Now that we have everything in the bowl, Uncle Bill's gonna go ahead and get it all mixed up. And if we need to add more egg, we'll see what it looks like at the end. And that is just some pre-mixed salt and pepper. Just salt and pepper to taste. Looks like that's gonna be about the right amount of egg. Mm -hmm. Well, we almost committed a crime. We almost forgot the cheese. We're gonna mix a little in, and then once we bake it, we will sprinkle some on top to melt. We're gonna put in about two tablespoons of butter into our Dutch oven just to give a little something in there for the peppers to cook in. Now once everything is mixed up, then we're just gonna scoop it right into our bell peppers. Little cheese on top. We'll put the cap on. That is a four cheese Mexican blend. Four cheese Mexican blend. You can use whatever your favorite cheese is. That just has been one of my favorites uh, as of late. So we're going to finish uh, stuffing up the rest of these, get them in there, and uh, we'll put a lid on it, some coals on top. All right, folks, we got all eight of them in the Dutch oven on the bed of coals. Now, we'll go ahead and put the lid on. Now we'll put some coals on top and let her bake. The lid on the Dutch oven is up just a little bit due to uh, a couple of taller peppers. We do believe they'll cook down and shrink and let the lid close, but keep that in mind when you're picking out your peppers. All right, folks, we got everything off the fire. Took about 30 minutes or so for it to get cooked all the way through. And uh, now we're gonna see what it's like. Mm, oh, don't that look good? Man. Yeah. You're gonna have to pass that knife over over here. We get a bite <coughs> cut off here, and I will pass it right over. Ah. Gotta get into this goodness. Man, oh man, mm -hmm. that is some good old omelet right there. Mm -hmm. The bell pepper held in all the juices, and oh. man, it tastes so good. Absolutely, I love, I love the texture with the bell pepper, and the bell pepper just took on all the flavor as well. It is incredible. So, folks, you can do this in your kitchen, in the oven. We like to show you how you can do it over a fire and uh, ways that you don't have to use electricity or gas just in case power goes out, tornadoes, hurricanes, bad storms, just whatever whatever situations you find yourself in where you don't have electricity or gas, you can always prepare a hot meal. Yep. Until next time, please like, subscribe, and leave comments, especially on our Facebook page as well. That's how you're going to win that contest. Y'all have a good day now.